Hello everybody, uh, announcement video time. So uh, we'll go over all that after the intro. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles and I run a Poshmark closet um, along with my wife, Angelique. Um, we're the Deegans on account of uh, we're not very creative and that's just a uh, name. So all that below. Um, links to the closet, email, contact information, all that stuff below. Anyway, um, if you're not new to my channel, you might notice that this is not where I normally shoot videos. Uh, that's because uh, this is a special announcement video. So um, we're, we are going to be looking at some stuff, but for now, well, first thing to announce, we got a light box. So um, this is uh, this is light box. I know a couple other um, couple other resellers use it. We really enjoyed it. Um, it's made shooting a lot easier. Um, it's made it so that my wife doesn't have to um, kind of try to remove all the little um, like all the little things from the background um, that we normally do. Um, our old setup was a piece of uh, our old setup was a piece of cardboard, um, a trifold, just plain white trifold, hung it up on the wall and had a bunch of um, photo photo lights, um, just, you know, the lights with the umbrellas in front of them on it, and it worked out well. But as I said um, back in January or December, um, one of those videos, we are trying to really step up our game um, this year. Um, the ring light has ended up being my light for shooting videos, so even though we don't use that for clothing, we still do use that. Um, all right, so this is uh, this is going to be a dead box video. Um, a dead pile? Dead box? I mean, with us it's a dead box because they put it all in a box, uh, but dead pile. Um, so these are just items that we had that we wanted to... We couldn't shoot with our last setup. Um, then we got a mannequin, which she's popped up from time to time in her videos. Um, and we got this. So now we, so I reached out all of these um, and they turned out great. So uh, let's see, let's see what I reshot. Reshot this pair of L, you know, I don't think I'm going to do the label thing in this video. We'll just, I'll just read them to you. These are L size 4 made of the Philippines. It is a new with tags skirt. Um, kind of a flower, um, almost a aloha pattern um, on it. Uh, so, first thing we shot. I, this is, these are just from all over um, the place, so I really can't say that all of these came from any one particular box, and some of them probably have showed up in videos before. All right, up next we have this pink shirt. Uh, this is a Ververet. Ververet. Um, and it's a pink um, kind of lace shirt. Um, yeah, we, uh, you know, with the, uh, we couldn't shoot this without a mannequin because it was lace, so it was so really see through it look it just didn't look good um, hanging flat on a hanger all right up next we have another a new tags this is a su uh, medium and this i believe showed up in a not too um and yeah, this did show up in one of our our unboxings maybe um, anyway, this is a strapless dress, um, and just being that it's a strapless dress, it was really, they're just, they don't, they don't shoot well without a mannequin, so, um, I'll have to, maybe I'll have to bring her over here, um, and I really want to thank our mannequin for making it so easy for me to shoot. Um, up next is a silence and noise, and I know for a fact that this showed up in one of the videos when I was up in the uh, up in the spare bedroom office. Um, this is size large, and um, yeah, I, I think it, it just had 
the pictures just turned out really bad. Um, but turned out great on the mannequin. So um, just uh, yeah, just um, if you are in the reselling, um, keep it out for store closings. Ours was from a dress barn, so we got a pair of we got a top and a bottom from dress barn. Uh, mannequin top and bottom, not a clothing or top and bottom, whatever else. Um, okay, this is an Eddie Bauer XL. Uh, got a force of habit. That camera's too far away for me to actually do that with this video. Uh, this is an XL, and this is a it is a women's shirt because the buttons are on the left. Um, it is buttoned up because there are there's nothing to hold the collar down. Um, but in Eddie Bauer shirt. Um, you know, I don't know. This might have just this might have just been another one that we just didn't like the photo, um, so we reshot it. Um, you know, we went through a couple weeks ago when we started our new inventory system, where we kind of we write everything that's in a box on the box, and then we just kind of put the box aside. When we were going through doing that with all of our inventory, we found a bunch of stuff that we just we're not happy with the pictures. We found a lot of stuff on that. We found some stuff that we had shot and never listed. Um, and so we put it all in a, in a, we put it all in our dead box and uh, we got to shooting it. Um, okay, this is a Lico, Lil, Lilco. Um, can't tell if that's a U or I L. Don't have to read cursive too much these days because everything is text. Uh, anyway, this is a small, and um, yeah, it's another uh, lace um, dress. So the lace, it, although this one does have an inner layer, so um, probably wasn't too bad, but um, it's also white. So one of the great things about this photo box, photo booth, photography box, whatever you want to call it, um, is that it has, right now I have the white um, backdrop in, but it actually came with two other backdrops. One is blue and one is black. Um, we haven't used the blue yet, um, but the white and black kind of gives us coverage for if we're doing lights or if we're doing darks. Um, most stuff looks better with the white background, but things like that, definitely dark background. So, um, yeah, it really makes a big difference um, using the dark background for light clothes and the white background for, for, well, pretty much everything else. All right, up next we have a painted thread. Uh, this is a small, and um, yeah, I, you know, I really don't know why we chose to reshoot this. Um, yeah, I'm, I think this is one of the things that was, um, that we had shot and not listed, and so we put it in with the stuff that we needed to reshoot. Um, I still have a couple more uh, boxes that I do need to reshoot, um, so I don't know if I'll do videos like this for all of them, but uh, it's definitely kind of it's definitely interesting to go back and see some of the stuff you have and kind of learn some of the mistakes you've made and see what you can keep doing better. Uh, this is a three people uh, dress and it is strapless, so. Um, like I said before, the strapless dresses really don't shoot well on a hanger. Um, you either have to use these uh, these straps, which then leave this huge gap, or you just shove the hanger there, and then you end up with a really broad, and it looks like the dress has really broad shoulders. Um, but anyway, this is free people, so very, very happy to have a really nice picture of this, um, because... I think uh, free people does free people does really well, and um, yeah, so it's always good to have a picture that's representative. Okay, up next, this is Mason Scotch size two, and it's a it's a shirt with um, some kind of fuzzy fuzzy pattern on it. Um, it does have fake out pockets on it, so um, not really happy about the fake out pockets, but that's just because I enjoy pockets. Um, uh, this, yeah, um, 
So I think this is just another shirt that we waited on the mannequin for. Um, I, I believe it's because the, the texture when we shot it originally, just the texture didn't really show up very well um, when it was on a hanger. So if the picture was just not satisfactory, we just threw it on the mannequin. All right, and now the last item from that box, from this box, we have a Rebecca Taylor small, um, and this is a dress, and um, this is not, it's not strapless, um, well, I guess it could be strapless, could be, kind of be, oh, I've seen a few shirts like this can be, that can be worn either way, anyway, um, this was just a, uh, this is just a dress that really um, just worked better on the mannequin. Uh, so that's why we waited until we had a mannequin to reshoot it. And that lined up with us getting this, uh, this booth. Um, so that brings us to the end. Um, so yeah, um, all of these items are actually all already listed and uh, they should have brand new pictures. Uh, so you can go check them out uh, in the link with the link in the description to see the pictures. Um, I don't know if we have the old pictures up. Uh, that might be something um, that we should do for a comparison. Probably shouldn't do that on Poshmark, but maybe a video. Maybe if I do another one of these uh, boxes, which I will do if, uh, if you like this one. All right. Um, one last announcement, channel update before I go. Um, we have cracked that uh, 10 subscriber mark, so we will be doing a Chipotle unboxing. Um, I forget which which of our videos I said that in, um, but that was promised, so that's going to happen. It'll happen whenever the next time we have Chipotle is, assuming I remember. Otherwise, maybe um, maybe it'll be a while. I don't know. We do eat a bit too much Chipotle. It's delicious. If they want to sponsor me, I will gladly accept that sponsorship. All right, um, so like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. All right, thanks for sticking around after the credits. Um, hey, if you like this um, little different format, um, yeah, leave comments. Um, you know, I'm Still, channel's still relatively new, so a lot can change, and a lot can, uh, yeah, a lot can change. Um, always looking for ways to improve. All right, um, videos, I'll put two, and maybe even a thing down here to subscribe, or over here, I don't know. Um, anyway, bye! <laughs>